Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are uh, discussing a straight line and this is the lecture number uh, 15. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 14 before watching this part 15. And in this lecture, we are going to uh, discuss some problems and some concepts as well. So, uh, there is one form, more form of equation of a line that is called distance form or symmetric form. So, let us discuss that symmetric form or distance form of line. So, what is that? Symmetric form. Let us write here. Symmetric form. Symmetric form or distance form. Distance form of a line. What is that? So, equation of line can be a. This is x minus x1 upon cos theta is equal to y minus y1 upon sin theta is equal to r. Equation of line is equation of line is this where r is where r is the distance the distance of point point x1 y1 r is distance of point x1 y1 right from a fixed point from x y right huh? x y any fixed point x y right and theta is an angle made by line made by line with x axis with post x axis in positive direction in positive direction direction right how to deal with the situations and what will be the way to discuss this let me explain this here is a line and uh, you can have this line as say like this I extend it up to here so here is a diagram that uh, x1 y1 is a fixed point and p x y b any point on this line and that is uh, here x and y be any point on this line so we can have here x comma y right now so that is uh, this distance will be from here to here y minus y1 right now and this distance will be from x minus x1 this distance is r r be any point from a fixed point let p x y be any point from x point x1 y1 and line making an angle theta with positive direction of x axis so here um, theta is this now cos theta can be written as what is cos theta base upon hypotenuse so x minus x1 upon r and sin theta can be written as y minus y1 perpendicular upon base that is also r so here we can write x minus x1 therefore we can write it like x minus x1 what is that x minus x1 therefore we can write x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to r and y minus y1 upon sin theta is also equal to r and since both are equal to r and therefore equation of line will be x minus x1 plus y minus y1 x minus x1 by cos theta plus y minus y1 on sin theta is equal to r this is the equation of line i hope you got it so this is what the equation of line now uh, therefore equation of line will be therefore x minus x1 by cos theta y minus y1 upon sin theta is equal to r so any point x1 y1 x y is any point here p x y be any point on the line any point on the line on the line at distance at distance r from 
are from a given point given point given point that is fixed point x1 y1 q x1 y1 right so this is a distance r now so any point on lies on line can have form if i write here then r cos theta is equal to x is equal to what so x minus x1 is equal upon cos theta is equal to r and therefore x minus x1 is equal to r cos theta and this employee x is equal to x1 plus r cos theta right similarly uh, y minus y1 upon sin theta can be is equal to r this employee y minus y1 is equal to r sin theta so this employee y can be written as y1 plus r sin theta so general point x y what the general point i have x y that can be written in this form so any point lie on this line will have is form therefore any point lies on x minus x1 upon cos theta is equal to y minus y1 upon sin theta is equal to r is will be form x1 plus r cos theta and y1 plus r sin theta for different value of r there will be different point on line isn't it so this is what the concept uh, i want to give you uh, although there is a different way to calculate it to find the solution of this type of uh, problem but still this is one of the important thing although this is uh, not mentioned in ncrt but uh, question is given so we can do that this one also right now so so it can be also called it is also called general point general point general point because for different value of r there can be different point on the line right okay now let us solve some questions and questions are given from here questions are like uh, question number 16 and the 16 question is given here find the direction in which find the direction in which a straight line must be drawn a straight line must be drawn must be drawn through the point through the point point minus 1 comma 2 so that the point of intersection of line so that the point of intersection of line point of intersection of line point of intersection of with the line point of intersection with the line with the line x plus y is equal to 4 may be at distance may be at distance Three unit may be at distance three unit from this point from this point from this point. this point right okay now uh, it is given that find the direction try to understand this question find the direction it means you have to calculate theta in which a straight line must be drawn through minus one two line must pass it through so that the point of intersection with the line this may be at three unit from this point right now so there is a two line one line is given x plus y is equal to four so clearly this point didn't, do not lie on this line minus 1 2 is not satisfying so here there will be a line you can draw this the diagram x plus y is equal to 4 that is x axis 
this one is y axis that is x dash so these are the points of line and now we have to draw another line which will pass through this x plus y is equal to 4 is this one right so this is a what another line i have this is 4 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 4 line says like this is a y axis this one is x axis x dash and y dash this is over here right we have to find the another line which will pass through minus 1 x minus 1 y 2 but at distance 3 unit from this line so we have to find another line which is x is minus 1 and y is 2 say line this but the distance of this is 3 unit from it distance of there is another line which I have to calculate but that must be distance 3 unit from it right so here is a, another line that will pass through it say like say like this maybe there can be any other line and this line has passed through minus 1 comma 2 and the distance of this point from this point of intersection that is m is 3 unit that we have to calculate so distance from this to this is 3 that is a question so PM is 3 unit. Basically here PM is 3 unit. PM is, PM is 3. That is V. So we have to find the direction of this line that is angle theta you have to calculate. What is the direction? That is theta. Theta which pass through minus 1, 2 and at distance 3 unit from this line. So we can calculate equation of line through making an angle theta. Let theta be an angle, we can write solution. Let theta be an angle, theta be an angle made by line, made by line through with x axis, line with x axis with positive direction of x axis positive direction of x axis x axis and passes through passes through minus 1 2 minus 1 2 point minus 1 2 right so therefore equation of line is therefore equation of line equation of line is y minus therefore slope is what slope is m is tan theta isn't it so equation of line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 that is minus of minus 1 is plus so y is equal to therefore y is equal to mx plus 2 plus n right now this is a line now this line intersect this line with the what at distance this line intersect another line x plus y is equal to 4 since this intersect this line since this line intersect another line another line x plus y is equal to 4 at point m hence to find the coordinate of m solve 1 and 2 solve it to find coordinate of m to find coordinate of m coordinate of m and what will happen then x plus y is equal to 4 and y is equal to mx plus 2 plus m plus y is equal to this and x is there x plus y is this y is this is equal to 4 and what will happen x plus y y is mx plus 2 plus m is equal to 4 and that will be 
वन प्लस एम इंटू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस एम एंड देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस एम अपॉन वन प्लस एम एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू वट इज दैट फोर माइनस एक्स सो वी कैन राइट फोर माइनस टू माइनस एम अपॉन वन प्लस एम एंड दैट विल कम हेयर y is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 and that will be 4m plus n that is 5m right now 4m plus 5m upon 4m plus m that is 5m and that will be 4 minus 2 that will remain 2 upon 1 plus n 1 plus n so coordinate of therefore coordinate of coordinate of m is what coordinate of m is 2 minus m upon m plus 1 and 5 m plus 2 upon m plus 1 now distance of pm is 3 unit as per question according to question since pm is equal to 3 and this imply under root 2 minus m upon m plus 1 minus minus 1 right now P is minus one, no? so minus one comma two. So x two minus x one plus y two minus y one whole square. X two minus x one whole square plus five m plus two upon m plus one minus two whole square. Right? That is equal to three. Now doing the same, uh, you will have here what will left if I Take LCM then m plus one so m m cancel and plus one plus two three three upon m plus one whole square that will come three upon m plus one whole square right plus what will be there that will left three m minus two m is five m minus two m is three m and minus two m plus two is cancelled so three m upon m plus one whole square three m upon m plus one Whole square, and if I let square both the sides, then what will happen? Remove the square root. Three square will be nine. So in that case, this will be <coughs> nine upon m plus one whole square plus nine m square is equal to nine, and therefore nine one plus m square is equal to nine times of m square plus two m plus one. Nine nine cancel, and now two m is equal to m square plus one m square plus one is also cancel, and therefore m is equal to zero. So slope of this line is zero. M is zero means what? M is zero means tan theta is equal to zero. Tan theta is equal to zero, and therefore tan theta is zero. It means theta is equal to zero, and hence line will be theta is equal to zero. And therefore, line is parallel to x-axis. Line is parallel to x-axis. So direction is that the line is parallel to x-axis. That will be answer. So I hope you got it. Uh, this was a good question, and I hope you understand it. Now let us solve some other question, and that are questions of seventeen. The hypotenuse of question number seventeen. The hypotenuse. Hypotenuse of a right angle triangle of a right angle triangle angle triangle. The hypotenuse of a right angle triangle has its end has its end ends at the point at the point one comma three and. Minus four comma one. Find the equation of leg of perpendiculars. Find the equation of legs of perpendiculars. Perpendiculars side perpendiculars. That is perpendicular side in fact. Perpendicular side means the ends, but perpendicular sides. Perpendicular sides. Right? Legs. Equation of legs. 
legs of the triangle of the triangle perpendicular sides of triangle so hypotenuse of a right angle triangle has end points suppose there is a right angle triangle and in right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle say like this and two ends of this right angle hypotenuse is given here that is 1 comma 2 so now let us write this solution solution of this problem this is very good problem here this is a right angle triangle pqr is a right angle triangle and end point of hypotenuse are given here can be there are can be two right angle triangle one is this one and another is this one so there must be two equation we have to find legs that is a perpendicular sides of hypotenuse so how to deal with this question since these are two perpendicular lines so it can be easily analyzed uh, that here y coordinate is 1 so y is equal to 1 will be a line then it must be parallel to x axis that is y is equal to 1 you can say this is a line and that line can be described as this line is y is equal to 1 and this is x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 can be two lines and here point of intersections they will perpendicular to each other x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 will be the answer of this question so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 are two lines two legs two lines which are two lines lines which are mutually perpendicular which are mutually perpendicular right mutually perpendicular perpendicular and they lie at and mutually perpendicular and and minus 1 1 comma 3 and minus 4 comma 1 lies on them respectively on them respectively respectively right now so that will be answer of in fact right now x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 this can be possibility but uh, there can be points so point uh, will be here uh, legs of perpendicular can be determined point exact point uh, will be difficult to determine because it will be why uh, it will be form a semicircle this will represent semicircle here slope of um, method this will be answer but let me give some extra knowledge here slope of method two. there is no specific answer slope of pr is nothing else but y minus 3 upon x minus 1 that is m1 say m1 say right and slope of qr is y minus y minus 1 upon x minus 4 y minus 1 upon x minus minus 4 that is x plus 4 is equal to m2 so since they are perpendicular since PR is perpendicular to PR is perpendicular to QR and therefore M1 M2 is equal to minus 1. Right now, therefore M1 M2 is equal to minus 1. I hope you got it. M1 M2 is equal to minus 1. And therefore it will form a line y minus 3. Y minus 3 upon x minus 1 into into y minus 1 upon x plus 4 is equal to minus 1 this employee y minus 3 into y minus 1 is equal to minus x minus 1 and x plus 4 that is nothing else but this is a equation of that will be equation of circle y square minus 4y 
plus 3 is equal plus this will be this side plus x square plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 and therefore x square plus y square plus 3x minus 4y and 4 minus 1 is equal to 0 is the equation of circle. So it will lie on circle right now it will circle and there can be uh, two points which will lie on it and the length of uh, this uh, legs can be not be determined exactly because this can be different way you know so that will be answered this will be circle so x and y cannot be a fixed point right now only one relation is there and on the basis of this relation uh, one quadratic equation in two variables fixed point cannot be determined but that is the inspection and uh, on the basis of that inspection you can write x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 will be the two lines which will satisfy so one of them is a line which will satisfy here and you will be able to get it so i hope you got it right now this is what uh, you need to do in this uh, question okay now now it's time to take break and after break we will discuss some more questions till then bye bye god bless keep watching and don't forget to subscribe this channel right uh, we have launched another video classic program if you want to prepare for itj uh, you can join them and for this uh, more information you can call us or in at our number double nine triple nine zero six four double zero thank you thank you very much